So thank you, Benjamin, for joining us at Canada Recipes on uh, um, being part of this uh, small interview. So um, I would like to share with the people watching right now this video uh, with Benjamin on how he went or how can some can be interested in your input device. For us, it could be a little bit strange. So how you went, what was your history to went into first the kernel development? And then what brings you to the input, uh, input stack? Well, first, thank you for <laughs> inviting me here. Yeah. Um, uh, the story started uh, when I was doing my PhD thesis. I was in a lab where we had a bunch of fun devices, and um, we actually had the very first touch screens um, that were uh, in the. Um, they were just lying there in the lab. In the in the lab. And what happened is that I heard that it was kind of like supported in the Linux kernel. And I say, hey, let me just plug it on my laptop and everything and see how it goes. And initially, what I realized is that it wasn't working at X at all. And so I started my first contribution to the open source community was actually through X. And I contacted Peter Hutterer, who was the input maintainer, the X input maintainer. And I showed my uh, little hack around this touchscreen to be able to show, hey, I can move several pointer. And I say, yeah, it was great. Yeah, good. Uh, but that's not the way you have to do it. <laughs> and you have to do it that way, that way, that way. And then um, I say, yeah, that's interesting. But I don't have much time with my PhD. So I continue to walk gone a little bit with uh, the PhD and everything and then at some point I realized that I would like to help uh, other uh, touchscreen that you, we were receiving in the lab uh, to be able to um, to to support them on, on the Linux. I must say that my uh, one of my advisor uh, was actually starting doing this job of contacting the manufacturer having them to send us uh, the devices. At some point, you say, hey, why don't you want to work on that and actually support those? And that's how I started working on the Linux kernel. Um, so yeah, thanks, Stefan Chetty. <laughs> he was the guy who, who introduced me to that. Um, yeah, so I started with one driver then one other, and then I started to merge all the driver together, and then I started to make uh, heat multi-touch. So this was from 2007 and 2009, I guess something like that. And uh, yeah, it was it was cool, interesting, and I had a, a welcoming. Um, um, feedback from the community it was really nice uh, because yeah there are not that many developers in the kernel I mean Greg says in the slide that there are like four four thousand developers but it's not in all of the subsystems and in some like in the input subsystem we are like three four main developers and we've got a bunch of others coming from different companies and everything they are just coming there but they are not like reviewing all the patches and everything so as soon as you get to those subsystems that are in very are lacking of uh, developers then they are very welcoming I mean the two maintainers are very uh, very nice that I work with so yeah that's that's really fun to work with <laughs> and how can you send a message trying to motivate newcomers to join the effort I mean what could be the the things that could uh, make them say, oh, I have to come with them and to, to help them to make it better. What could be the message? The message is that um, I think the biggest satisfaction um, that makes you actually love working on that is that you actually are fixing things. And whether it's input, output, uh, your um, USB disk or whatever, I mean, you find a bug, you get this, 
you hack into the code, you find the issue, you fix it, then you send out your patch, it gets upstream, and you actually fixed it, and the community recognizes it by um, putting your name in the Linux kernel, and then you can say, hey, I'm a Linux kernel developer. <laughs> this is uh, the best thing that, I mean, that was for me. And then you start, and then you're hooked on it, and you're starting to continue to work on that. And especially because uh, from the input for some input stuff, you are on the critical path between the human and the computer. Because if the input device doesn't work, you cannot communicate with the computer. So, I mean, every si uh, single time someone is using a mouse or a keyboard, you are on, th on this path, actually. Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to see it that way. <laughs> I mean, I uh, I am deeply involved in it. I am deeply involved in the bugs that people might have, <laughs> but uh, I am not alone. We are like the the we have two maintainers uh, who are really really good maintainers who work most of the code, and so I mean, yeah, input is it's a kind of it's the not very love song that you can have and it's the one that yeah you everybody expect it to be working and when it's not then it's a it's a shame and so it's it's a pity so but it's 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 a nice thing too because you you get a lot of um you get feedbacks from people saying hey thanks and that's that's one of the best uh, motivation so um, speaking about the future, what are our next challenges or projects you are interested in? Uh, um, <laughs> that's a good question. First, we, we are trying to get the um, touchpad working properly. Uh, it's quite a big challenge because um, we've got a lot of side effects coming in from other subsystems, and so this is getting worse and worse. Um, but once we get those working, we will have others uh, that we need to fix. Um, but right now, yeah, I'm more. F I would like to be able to focus a little bit on the user space with uh, Liwal back to configure the those crazy devices um, because it's it's fun and we've got a good community there also. Okay, so thank you Benjamin for being with us at Canal Recipes. We appreciate your, your presence and your talk. It was very interesting and I think I've been able to give people an idea of what is the input stack and uh, on how it works. So thank you a lot for coming with us. Thank you for inviting me and yeah, thank you. I'll see you next year maybe. <laughs> Thanks.